this little old lady. Dude, I've heard stories. I've told this story before. When I was growing up, an old man ran over a teenage girl and smashed her. And the penalty was you lose your license. Hmm. And this lady walked in a building for a few minutes. She's a threat to no one. Misdemeanors now send you to jail? That's the crazy thing. Well, uh, yeah. Misdemeanors always could. Misdemeanors are usually, I, I can't speak for other states. In Illinois, a misdemeanor is anything less than a year. And prison and felonies are anything a year or more. Mm. So, yes, you, you commit a misdemeanor, you can get six months or something. But what is the purpose of imprisonment? Yeah, my own country is treating me like a criminal. It's because I believe that my, they stole my the rightful president. And just standing up for my country it makes me a criminal. And it's just not right. It feels so weird to be here. <laughs> three over three years ago i was here that we we're at that place and i don't know what to, i really am at a loss for words we're at a place that you, you can't come back from there is no unraveling this the trial already began and just this is an old article now that we have the the jury came back a, a biased jury in dc but for 10 minutes what did she do in there she was praying for her president donald trump at the time he was still president and she was praying for who she thought had won. And she was praying for the safety of everyone. It was a pretty chaotic time. And nobody told her to get out or anything like that. The great grandmother and bed and breakfast owner, she's right by me in Colorado, doesn't regret walking into the United States Capitol during the Stop the Steal. And that's what they really don't like is we, we're hemming you up. And we need you to bend the knee. This is Game of Thrones. This is as savage as Game of Thrones. If you ever watched that TV show, this is, we are at that level of savagery where you're putting a woman this at this age away. She said, I felt like I was there on an assignment from God. And I would never question that because she's caught, she's really waking people up to how bad things are. A jury trial. It already started and it already ended for 10 minutes in inside for entering the Capitol more than three years ago. What is going on? Agents from the Joint Terrorism Task Force reviewed surveillance camera footage and confirmed Laverne's account according to a court document filed September 19th, 2022. The report also states that tipsters alerted federal investigators the Laverns had been among the crowd. They absolutely have citizens turning on each other. That's what Gina Carano got canceled for. Basically talking about what happened in Germany. Basically, it's the same thing. Just standing up for my country makes me a criminal. And yes, it does, Laverns, because you need to stand up for your overlords, not the country. Not for God, for sure. Because if you stand up for God and you say Christ is king, you've got a different, whole different level of authority than the government. And that is the definition of woke for me is when you use anybody outside of God as the authority, they want to be your authority. One of her four children who lived in Colorado Springs asked Leverance in December of 2020 if she planned to go to the rally, which was held on the day congressional leaders were certifying the electoral colleges. We're going to relive that whole thing. Protesters such as Laverne's and L Laverne's disputed the outcome, which is her right to. I've always been, a, and those weren't part of the charges. I've always been a lifelong lover of truth. They don't want that either. That's when people say they believe in God, that's what it really is, is I believe in truth and all truth stems from God. So an attack on truth is an attack on God. And I felt something went really wrong with that 2020 election, and I hate injustice. Your instincts were right. There, were, there have been no substantive evidence before or since of wrongdoing in the compilation of the 2020 results. This is according to the Gazette.com. The key word here is substantive. They can, that's not a legal term, so they can say whatever they want on that. I'm not going to sidetrack. It does get me angry, though. Laverance, who has four adult children, seven grandchildren, and one great-grandson, said she prayed about whether she should attend. It didn't take long for me to figure out God was saying to go there, she said. And I do what I can in prayer, and I put action to my faith. She did, she's done more for her country than I have. Today, one of my daughters told me, Mom, it's Good Friday. And I said, oh, that's right. It's good. <laughs> and today is the day that I get to take the witness stand 
at my trial here in Washington, D.C. to defend the country that I love, the one I came here over three years ago to defend. Thank you so much for standing with me and your love for God and our country. Thank you. Laverance, a retired registered nurse, drove 24 hours across country, fasting and praying throughout the long trip to reach her destination, wearing a red scarf and a white hat to the rally, which she said she attended by herself. Laverance encountered a group of people praying outside the Capitol, and she joined them for about an hour and a half. It was a patriotic, joyful time to be around so many people who love their country, she said. I felt a strong presence of the Spirit of God fall over me, and I started crying. At one point, she took the microphone to speak about a document that became, became known as the 1620 Mayflower Compact, included in the agreement that pilgrims had signed before they set foot on American soil, was that the country would be dedicated to the glory of God and advancement of the Christian faith. Do you see that war on that faith? It's about you have faith in something that we don't, we are, at, we are anti-Christianity. My mission in life is to know God and to make his ways known and restore the country back to its godly foundation, Laverne said. Without God, there is no justice. Yeah, this people, so they're afraid. It doesn't matter how old you are, this is a powerful sentiment. As the rally turned riotous, and we don't know who started that or whatever. We have video, but it's all, we don't know who's, they, they have not been transparent about who was a Fed, who was not a Fed. You can't, I'm not supporting anyone. Everyone in, involved should be released. Everyone in, involved should have their charges dropped. Everyone involved should be pardoned. I don't care what they did on that day because we do not have full transparency. If you, and they can do that. If they don't care about us enough to have full transparency, I don't care what you did on that day. You should be pardoned. I don't want to hear, oh, if you didn't know, everyone. That's not a Fed. Let's hold those accountable. She observed people getting into physical conflict with police pushing on the barriers as the police pushed back. Outside of some of the bias, this is a good article. The rest affidavit goes on to say, when a man finally succeeded in pushing past the barrier and entering the U.S. Capitol, Laverne's observed that none of the police officers chased him. When the crowd eventually pushed aside the barriers, allowing people to stream through the main door of the U.S. Capitol on the east side, Laverne's followed and entered as well. When the east rotunda doors were opened, Laverne's said during the Gazette interview that she felt compelled to go in, to bring God inside the Capitol with my presence. Laverne's said she followed the crowd and stayed within the ropes, that blocked people from entering certain parts of the building. She's in the ropes, inside the ropes. I didn't say anything. I didn't shout or wave. I didn't see any violence when I was in the Capitol and there was no damage. I felt God's presence in me and just made my presence known to let Congress know we the people voted them in office and we were saying, you need to listen to what we're saying. And with all due respect, Ms. Laverne's, we need to work on a local level we're in the same state and we should be going to the we we'll probably have to move out the state but at, at the local level we should be saying this relationship is over there is absolutely nothing saying that we have to have a federal government and that peacefully and i will say that every single time peacefully because as you can see they try to construe you they try to give an excuse you said there shouldn't be a federal government and you hear that knock on the door fbi open up no, I didn't say that there's, I said peacefully. The government, the federal government is only there based on an agreement of 50 states. It only takes one state to say I'm out. And there is absolutely nothing. You can't make a law against that. That's how the country was started. And it's a God-given right. You cannot require me to be a part of your country. When I say peaceful, that means negotiated. Voting doesn't help this. I don't want to talk about Trump right now. We're beyond that. It's time to separate. Laverne said she and the other and other people in the group turned around and retreated when someone said members of Congress had already left the building. So we didn't have any way to express our grievances and left. You're, you still expressed them. Video footage shows Laverne's entering the Capitol at 2.43 p.m. and exiting the building at 2.53 p.m. My goodness, 10 minutes exactly. 
When she arrived back home, Laverne said she felt good about her participation, and she should. I did what I was supposed to, and pretty soon that's going to be, even supporting that's going to be speech to Doe. I did what I was supposed to be doing, and I was surprised to hear that people were getting arrested, she said. In April of 2021, two FBI agents knocked on the door, FBI, at her rural home in eastern El Paso County and said they were there to investigate her involvement in the January event. She was busy baking a cake. They told this story on TimCast today. Abby, Abby, Libby Emmons told this story on TimCast today. She was busy baking a cake for her son's birthday and asked if they could come back a different day. And they said yes and returned in a few weeks. I don't know how they go to sleep at night. Nearly a year and a half later, on December 19th, 2022, Laverance was arrested and charged with four federal misdemeanors at the U.S. District Court in Denver. I sat in prison for three hours, and they let me out of a personal, they let me out of personal recognizance, took my passport, put me on probation, told me to let the officer know if I was going to travel anywhere, she said. She's charged with, she was charged with entering and remaining in a restricted building, the people's house, disorderly and disruptive conduct in a restricted building or grounds, disorderly conduct in a Capitol building, and parading, demonstrating, or picketing in the Capitol. Prosecutors contend that Laverns entered the Capitol without having the authority to do, and in the process violated four laws, misdemeanors. Laverns refused a plea deal the prosecution offered last year. They really don't like that. You believe in God. You're a Christian. You're a God-fearing Christian. You refuse the plea deal. You say that you're proud of what you did. You still believe in what you believe about the 2020 election. We're going to put you away. Jury selection from the District of Columbia already began and went through. A biased jury. I didn't get into this for myself. I was there to stand up for my country, she said. I asked God if I did something wrong, if I needed to repent. And God said, no, you went there to make my presence known and to pray. So I think she's, this is tough, really tough to see, but I think she's going to be okay to keep the faith. My biggest prayer is that God gets the final work, word this week. Laverance is among 1,358 people charged with criminal actions related to the Jan rally that turned violent, according to the U.S. Department of Justice. She is one of about 1,200 defendants who allegedly entered or remained in a restricted federal building or grounds. About 500 new cases are expected to come before the U.S. District Court in Washington, D.C. this year. They might try to use technology to think to find out if you thought about going. Is that the next step? Last week, a jury convicted a Virginia man who went inside the Capitol for three minutes and walked around and took photos on four counts. Also last week, a Jefferson County man was sentenced to 63 months in prison for his involvement. He was convicted of three felonies and also ordered to pay restitution. One of my favorite videos from one of the most important groups of people in this country, the Dilly Meme Team, is from Megalifornia. It's from Megalifornia, and it's I was there that day. that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard.
middle mega